So Luke Tucker, the CEO of Blue Photo Stories and an associate at Sultan Ventures called me up and asked if we could take Joel, the CEO of Buffer, out on a stand-up paddleboard. Well, with the conditions for the day, we decided to go on the four-man canoe. You can tell from the palm trees in the background that the wind is really light for the day and the water is really smooth and flat, which creates really good conditions for us to try to surf. The waves were maybe about waist to chest high, so that's good for us, something that we can handle and would be perfect for a beginner. Out on the right side, you'll see my brother paddling in. He was too late to get on the canoe with us. Now, I'm gonna skip the part of us paddling out, and this is us catching our first wave. The important part of catching this wave is to get in the proper position and paddle hard right when our tail lifts right now. We call this winding off where they don't paddle at all, and everybody's happy because, wow, we got on our first wave. It actually is bigger than it looks in this GoPro video. But, you know, for the day, it wasn't really huge or anything. So everybody's just enjoying themselves riding the wave out. We're trying to stay on it as far as we can without hitting the shore or hitting the reef. But right here, we're going to turn back out. You can tell on Luke's face that he's having a blast. You can't see anybody else behind, though, because the GoPro is situated right on the front of the canoe. You can tell from Luke's face that he's having a blast and both of the guys are holding onto the yako as we go over. That will keep the ama, which is that white thing in the water, the outrigger portion down and keep us from flipping. You'll notice that as we go over the waves, the nose is going to go way up and come down and Luke will almost stand up. And that's to prevent himself from flying up and then crashing down. We've seen people get injured that way. Luke's wearing a warm rash guard and since it's a really hot day and not too much wind, he decided to jump in the water and swim. Luckily for us, we're in Waikiki at the base of Diamond Head and it is just beautiful. Water is warm. It's also clean. Here we go for our second wave. We're turning to get in position. You can tell the peak that's coming behind. Now we're going to get that last bump and we're in winding off and just riding it. Here's Luke changing the GoPro to make sure he got a good angle of himself while we're still riding the wave. Now you can tell that we're moving, but how does the canoe turn? Actually, I'm steering it in the back with a giant paddle. Now we're coming back out and we're gonna go back out and try and catch another wave. Judge Mike Town shared with me a saying that is Nani Ikava'a, which is basically talk nice to each other in the canoe, no complaining. This makes everyone bond and in sync. And that's important because as you can tell, watch the way they're paddling, they're in sync. That makes a difference in the way the boat moves. They're paddling at the same time, they stop at the same time. And that kind of harmony, when you feel it as a team, is something really special and can be achieved in a canoe in a tangible fashion in a short period of time. Harmony in the canoe is very similar to harmony in an orchestra or being in sync on a team. It's just awesome. You can tell that Joel is doing a great job by following Luke's stroke right here. And now they go up and over. You can tell he stands up a bit, comes down so he doesn't get hurt. Out here is our friend Sean going out to paddle the surf break. It's very important that we get along with the surfers. And now we're off onto another wave. Paddling in sync, following Luke, and we're on. Winding off and just riding. What you can't tell is that on some of the steeper drops, like on this one, the nose of the canoe goes under the water. So the person in the front feels like they are going to go under. That's what Luke's talking about right now and it's just an exhilarating feeling as long as you don't wipe out. Joel didn't want to miss out on all the fun, so Luke jumped out, and now it's Joel's turn to pop in the front and take lead. One of the nice things about taking these guys out on the canoe is that both of them are in great physical shape. In fact, Joel got himself all um, oiled up so he could get a great tan while he was out here catching some waves. This guy is a great sport. And 
being from the UK where it's really cold, this has got to be a great experience for him being in this warm Hawaii weather. Another thing good about these guys is that they both listen and Joel listens really well as well. Watch we go up and over the wave, he's going to stand up a bit so he doesn't go flying and he is in great shape. Look at that big smile on his face. I don't know if you can see it if you're looking at this on a phone or a small device, but he is having a blast. And we're going for the next wave, and we are up. You can tell if it's fun or not. Look at his face. Raise the paddle, whoop, whoop. Raise the paddle, whoop, whoop. Actually, by this point, we were out there for almost two hours, and I was getting tired. And I kept asking these guys if they were ready to take the last one, but they kept going on and on. They were having such a blast. I was just thinking about eating Rainbow's plate lunch for lunch after that. But they wanted to keep going and finish on something good. And here we go. Get on it. This is actually our last wave of the day and we want to make the best of it so we're paddling hard, getting in position, take that last stroke, tails up and we're on. At this part I don't know if Joel was going to get up and try to surf on the canoe or if he was trying to make sure the nose stayed down but nonetheless he's smiling, having fun and we all had a great time. So thanks for watching this video and please tune in next time for more. To finish off this awesome day, we had to take Joel and Luke to the best plate lunch place in Hawaii, Rainbow Drive-In on Kapahulu Avenue. Luke had the fried mahi-mahi plate with macaroni salad and rice, and we had the mixed plate with teriyaki meat, boneless chicken, brown gravy all over, fried egg on top, macaroni salad and rice, and a slush float with vanilla ice cream. Thanks for joining us today on our canoe surfing adventure. To subscribe, please click the button below and please tune into our YouTube channel for more videos and our website at standuppaddlesurf.net. Aloha.